image that marked me the most was going down the waves and the boat was on the hill and you couldn't see where it was going down to. But it's going really fast down. <laughs> and then it's that feeling of like, hold on, because <laughs> we're going to stop at some point. Well, I stayed true on my promises and I, I clipped on and made sure I was safe the whole time. But yeah, when things didn't go so well. Um, yeah, four days in, we had the damage and yeah, we got to really experience the Southern Ocean. The squalls of yeah, 50 knots or more and, and then I'm trying to repair the boat and that was um, yeah, quite a big task. You know, we had all the signs of the storm coming, you know, the red morning and all the clouds in the sky. I saw some pretty good acts of bravery uh, from the guys after the crash. I think it was pretty cool to see how uh, the whole team, like, you know, works towards goal, get us moving again. And it's pretty cool to see some pretty motivated people to go up the mast. As soon as I looked up and saw the rig, I knew that it's busted, we're going to have to fix that. It's probably going to be me. It was pretty ruthless the first time I went up, at, uh, more than 20 metres in the air, and we didn't have any choice at that stage. We needed to get the main down. Whereas the other times I went up, um, we could kind of pick our times. It just makes it that much you know, scary in a way that when you break something down there, there's not a whole lot of places you can go very easily. Before it, it was just all the stories, and now it's uh, I've seen it with my own eyes. First, you will, you know, we'll see a whale, and you have a day, sunny watch outside, and you're watching these massive waves, and it's like, oh, this is pretty cool. And then you have a great day, and not a lot going on, you just have noticed that the fleet is just extending on you. It's a given that you have to trust the guys around you, trust the people you're sailing with, because if you don't, you're going to be spending all your time freaking out and worrying. You can't do that, you're going to have to get over that and trust the people who are on the wheel, and then if you're driving yourself, you've got to think about the people who are in their bunks or making a cup of tea down below or whatever. Make sure that they're not going to get thrown around when you're driving. So There's much trust you have to give in other people, you know that people trust you with what you're doing as well. In the end, we all want to win, and we're all like very competitive, and it's disappointing not to be uh, within the other boats.